हेलो ऑल आई एम सामन वानी वी हैव स्टार्टेड ए न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स एंड फ्लूड टर्बो मशीनरी सो दिस इज द सेकेंड लेक्चर बेस्ड ऑन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड्स वी हैड स्टार्टेड अवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर बाय गिविंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट बेसिक्स ऑफ फ्लूड्स एंड नाउ वी आर कमिंग टू द सेकेंड लेक्चर सेशन ऑफ द फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स दैट इज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड्स बेसिकली इन लास्ट Uh, particular lecture we have seen that how uh, the hydraulics fluid mechanics and uh, fluid are defined uh, fluid was defined as the uh, substance which has capacity to flow so uh, basically uh, when uh, a particular substance is there it has certain properties uh, therefore these properties uh, will be studied in this lecture uh, mostly all the properties will be uh, given in details so uh, let's see uh, one by one uh, what are the various uh, properties of these uh, fluids uh, then generally uh, we also we have to determine whether the uh, fluid uh, which, which should be the standard fluid when the consideration or the derivation should be done uh, or during analysis uh, some standard fluid is to be considered so here uh, always uh, uh, water is considered as a uh, standard fluid so let's go to the next slide the various uh, properties of fluids are as follows uh, first is uh, density so the density is nothing uh, is the proven property of a fluid then uh, second is a specific gravity then third is uh, viscosity fourth is vapor pressure then fifth is cohesion sixth is adhesion seventh is surface tension it is capillarity and ninth is compressibility so basically the major properties of fluids are this nine type nine various properties but uh, in general also uh, there are certain properties like temperature then chemical composition then pressure of a particular fluid so basically these are the various types of properties so now one by one we will see in detail so first is density which is also known as mass density so uh, i would like to tell you that uh, this particular uh, uh, density is divided into various types that is mass density and weight density so we will first see the mass density the density also known as mass density or specific mass of a liquid may be defined as the mass per unit volume at a standard temperature and pressure so it is usually denoted by the letter uh, rho this is the uh, designation of this type of uh, density so uh, basically see that the ratio of mass per unit volume is nothing but the value of mass density so its unit so mass is measured in kilograms and volume is measured in centimeter cube or meter cube so therefore the ratio of mass to volume so therefore the unit of the density that is rho will be equal to kg per meter cube the equation for calculating mass density is rho equal to m divided by v so basically see that one image we have inserted here that each and every material will have a certain uh, amount of weight or each and every fluid will have a certain amount of uh, particular density value so uh, see that this is a cork object and this is a rock object so the rock object is uh, going in downward direction in the when it is kept in a beaker or a particular vessel and this cork is floating at their own body so uh, at the top of the surface so this this concept we are going to see in uh, detail uh, when we are going to study the buoyancy force then center of pressure total pressure etc but uh, here the the density of water is determining the uh, position of the particular object in the water surface then uh, some values are there are some uh, of the which we are going to see in the problems also so the value of mass density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube and the value of mass density of mercury is 13600 kg per meter cube going to the next slide that is weight density now what is the weight density the weight density also known as specific weight is defined as the weight per unit volume at the standard temperature and pressure so when we were learning mass density it was ratio of mass to volume here the the, the denominator is same that is per vol, per unit volume but now this is the ratio of weight per unit volume it is usually denoted by small w so this is the notation letter for uh, weight density and the unit will be in now instead of mass now we are 
having weight so when the mass will become weight the mass will become weight when a uh, particular value of uh, gravitational acceleration that is 9.81 meter per second square will be multiplied to the mass then it becomes a weight so therefore uh, instead of kg we are having newton so newton per meter cube is the value for or the unit for the weight density the equation for calculating weight density is equal to w is equal to rho into g so that is the value of the particular uh, uh, value of uh, the weight density where rho is mass density of fluid in kg per meter cube and gravitational force that is g is equal to 9.81 meter per second square so now see uh, the value of weight density of water now we have seen mass density of water was 1000 so 1000 multiplied by 9.81 so it will be 9810 newton per meter cube and weight density for the mercury is one uh, is uh, again it will be 13600 into 9.81 so it becomes 133416 newton per meter cube then next is a specific volume this uh, property of fluid is always regarded as the reciprocal of uh, the value of density so it is defined as volume per unit mass of liquid so I, uh, up till now we have seen the density which is mass to the unit volume so now it is ex exactly opposite so it is now volume per unit mass so it is usually denoted by small uh, small v and again its unit will be again the opposite side of the density so that will be meter cube per kg where were having kg per meter cube for density so the unit for specific volume is meter cube per kg so the ratio v is equal to that is the capital v this is volume m is mass so v by m is equal to 1 by rho so specific volume can directly be calculated as 1 divided by rho then specific gravity now this type of system uh, or the property of fluid is unitless quantity and why it is unitless quantity we will see now a specific gravity is the ratio of the specific weight of the liquid to the specific weight of a standard liquid now see uh, uh, in the, at the start of this lecture we have seen that the standard uh, fluid is considered as water so if we have to calculate the specific gravity of water then the ratio of specific weight of liquid to the specific weight of standard fluid so if uh, weight uh, if the specific gravity of water is to be measured then specific weight of liquid that is water will be 9810 divided by specific weight of a standard fluid which is again water it will be 9810 so 9810 divided by 9810 we will get the value of specific gravity of water as 1 so uh, it is dimensionless and has no units and it is represented by capital S so uh, it is the ratio of specific weight of liquid to specific weight of pure water so therefore uh, for water it is 1 if we have to measure it for uh, mercury then uh, we have to write here as uh, specific weight of mercury divided by specific weight of pure water all also specific gravity can be calculated with the with taking the ratio of densities mass density of mercury suppose and divided by mass density of water so the value will be 13.6 for the specific gravity of mercury and as, as it is the ratio of the exact specific quantities so therefore it is a unitless quantity then going to viscosity so viscosity may be defined as the property of a fluid which determines its resistance to shearing stresses it is a measure of the internal fluid friction which causes resistance to flow it is primarily due to cohesion and molecular momentum exchange between fluid layers and as flow occurs these effects appear as shearing stresses between the moving layers of fluid so uh, in practical words we can say that the viscosity is nothing but the uh, property of the fluid which is defining the resistance to shearing stresses means there are various ways in which we can measure the viscosity of a particular fluid but one example is suppose there are two fluids and one uh, one is oil and one is water so uh, and we apply both uh, uh, the forces to both the fluids same if we pour oil and if we pour water at the same force on the floor depending upon the condition keeping the floor condition also constant then we can easily observe that oil being thick 
will flow in less uh, manner or will flow up to a less length and water being thin it can flow up to a largest uh, uh, distance so therefore this is nothing due to the viscosity created between the fluid layer and the resisting floor so uh, not, it is nothing but the measurement of internal fluid friction which causes the resistance so uh, for uh, that particular quantity um, as the flow uh, uh, due to the cohesion and molecular momentum ex uh, exchange these if the flow is occurring then these effects appear as shearing stresses an ideal fluid has no viscosity so uh, ideal fluid we know it is not available in nature so the viscosity also will be nil there is no fluid between which can be classified as a perfectly ideal fluid however the fluids with very little viscosity are sometimes considered as ideal fluids viscosity of fluids is due to cohesion and interaction between particles so now we are going to see here that how the viscosity is uh, been calculated what are the formulas related to that suppose uh, take uh, from this diagram take a layer which is known as a solid boundary layer of a particular ground and take a fluid particle uh, between two surfaces so here this is the lower layer and this is the upper layer so lower layer uh, uh, means at the point where the fluid is flowing lower layer is having a velocity as u and the distance between these two layers is known as dy and uh, in this vertical axis the distance no is y and the uh, difference between the upper layers fluid profile and lower layers fluid profile is du so what will happen is when the lower layer is uh, lower level of the fluid particle has been uh, taken up a particular velocity u the upper layer over this will be having a certain velocity known as u plus du because upper layer is farther than solid boundary and lower layer is closer to the boundary so referring to the figure when two layers of fluid at a distance dy apart move over uh, move one over the other at different velocities say u and u plus du the viscosity together with relative with relative velocity causes a shear stress acting between the two layers so between these two there will be a shear stress induced and that shear stress value we have to find the top layer causes a shear stress on the adjacent layer while the lower layer causes a shear stress on the adjacent top layer so this shear stress is proportional to the rate of change of velocity with respect to y and therefore this is denoted by tau so this is the letter tau which is denoting the shear stress so how do calculate the value of shear stress here mathematically tau is directly proportional to du by dy or tau is equal to mu into du by dy so what will be uh, there in this equation a constant of proportionality is added which is known as a coefficient of dynamic viscosity or only coefficient of viscosity so the letter is mu so tau equal to mu into du by dy where mu is constant of proportionality and is also known as coefficient of dynamic viscosity or only viscosity then du by dy is the rate of shear stress or rate of shear uh, deformation or we can also say that it is a velocity gradient so from above figure if you have to find the coefficient of uh, viscosity here then it will be equal to uh, tau divided by du uh, tau divided by into bracket du by dy that is the shear stress divided by the velocity gradient you can get the value of mu so while uh, finding the uh, values of viscosity these three parameters are essential that is the rate of change of uh, shear stress with respect to the distance between the two the two uh, layers then coefficient of viscosity and shear stress or either of the three quantities any two quantities are known we can easily find the third quantity then uh, the viscosity may also be defined as shear stress required to produce the unit rate of shear strain so what is the uh, particular uh, unit of this type of viscosity that is dynamic viscosity is the si unit is newton second per meter square and mks unit is kg force uh, the, uh, into second divided by meter square so mu equal to force per area divided by length per time into 1 by length so it becomes force uh, divided by length square divided by 1 by length so force into time Time divided by length square. So uh, this is nothing but the kg second 
that is kg of that particular uh, that is uh, mass of that particular uh, fluid uh, force into time divided by length square that is meter square unit of uh, viscosity in cgs system mostly because as it is having a lower quantity so here it is dyne second per centimeter square or uh, it is known as a poise so this poise one poise is equal to 1 divided by 10 newton second per meter square or it is also known as 0.1 newton second per meter square then uh, one that is uh, kinematic viscosity we have to find the value of another type of viscosity which is kinematic viscosity so it is defined as the ratio between the dynamic viscosity and density of fluid it is denoted by the letter nu uh, purposefully we have written here because it looks like a v but it is known as nu so what is nu here nu is the ratio of dynamic viscosity that is mu to the density of the fluid so we can get the kinematic viscosity the unit of kinematic viscosity in SI system that is meter square per second. So it in MK system also it is meter square per second. In CGS units, the kinematic viscosity is also known as one stroke, which is equal to C, uh, centimeter square per second. So one stroke will be equal to 10 raised to minus 4 meter square per second. And the, therefore, centi stroke means 10 raised to minus 2 strokes. Therefore, what will happen is 1 centi stroke will be equal to 1 divided by 100 strokes and 1 strokes will be equal to 100 centi strokes. So basically in this uh, in this lecture we have seen the various types of properties in the further lectures we are, we are going to discuss the other uh, properties of uh, the fluids which are available like uh, surface tension, capillarity, vapor pressure theory etc. So this is uh, this our lecture is limited to uh, density, specific gravity, viscosity, specific volume etc. So uh, also the, the request is that to uh, uh, if you like the lectures you can subscribe to my youtube channel basically this youtube channel is related to all the engineering mechanical engineering subjects related to thermal heat uh, heat transfer or the various uh, lectures related to psychrometry uh, refrigeration systems etc so we are running now uh, currently the lecture series on fluid mechanics and fluid and turbo machinery so um, also uh, give the suggestions regarding our lecture if you want any uh, or if any point is missing then you can uh, just suggest for adding this uh, type of points in the remaining points in the next lecture thank you the newton's law of viscosity this law states that the shear stress on a fluid element layer is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain one point is uh, remaining here uh, newton's law of viscosity we had to explain so we are taking this uh, in a next uh, slide here constant of proportionality here the tau is equal to mu du by dy is also known as the newton's law of viscosity and the, the fluids which follow the law are known as newtonian fluids so uh, in next lecture also we are going to see the types of fluids so these types of fluids also will be considered when we are going to see the next lecture this up till now uh, the newton's law uh, this lecture will be limited to the newton's law of viscosity